Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Getting Out of Bed with Micah, where I take you along with me on my journey as I grow in discipline through getting up early and starting my day off in a productive, successful way, so I can then build on that throughout the rest of my day. Uh, so today, um, I went with getting up at about 6, um, which gave me about 6 hours of sleep, because uh, today is Thursday, and Wednesdays, I always get to bed really late. Um, but... Um, I got up at about 6.10, which means I only snoozed one time, um, which was really awesome. i um, super proud of that. Um, so, today, I'm um, about to get rolling on my smoothie, um, and then get rolling on my Bible reading and all of that. Um, I doubt I'll have much time for anything other than that, uh, since I went with a little, getting up a little later today. Um, but yeah, so, good morning thus far very happy about actually getting up um let's do this all right so today we are trying another one of y'all's suggestions um so i was just here getting ready for work because he leaves earlier than i do um so today we are trying cranberry juice um instead of milk or water or anything um so i'm actually kind of excited for this one um i like the idea of juice I think it's gonna be good. Hopefully it is. We shall see. All right, the uh, smoothie has been blended um, and now comes the moment of truth. Is it good or is it not good? Um, it's very thin, um, which I guess is to be expected because juice is a lot thinner than uh, milk. Um, so let's see. first taste I like it it is good I can definitely you know tell the cranberries there um, and I enjoy that solid good suggestion um, so uh, yeah if you have any other suggestions um, let me know in the comments and uh, I shall try them as long as they're not like crazy uh, <laughs> um, but yeah so let me know all right, uh, the smoothie is done, the Bible reading is done, um, getting ready to get uh, started on getting ready for work and all of that. Um, but in my Bible reading today, what really jumped out at me is uh, reading Acts chapter 14. Um, what I really like here is just this like, you know, kind of again a continuation of um, something from, from earlier in the, in the book, but like this just crazy mindset um, that we see here of the believers in the early church, you know, and, and this challenges me a lot because we should hold on to this. But, you know, you see here, Paul and Barnabas are, you know, they've been sent off and they're going through the different towns and cities and everything, preaching the gospel. And basically the system that they're using is that they just go hard preaching the word until the people of the town are literally about to kill them. Um, and then they move on to the next town. And, like, that's just kind of the system they use. And so then in one of these towns, um, you know, they, and they stay a little too long. <laughs> and so all of a sudden, um, the people grab Paul and they take him out and they stone him. And they, you know, assume that he's dead. And either he was dead or he was just almost dead. But the, you know, the believers there gather around him and, um, and he's healed and he gets up. And he goes back into the city, and then they roll on to another city and are preaching the gospel again. And then they go back to that city and preach the gospel again. And it's just crazy to me, you know, this commitment and this boldness and this willingness that, you know, this mindset of, like, literally my life is not my own. I'm here for a purpose. My time on this earth is about sharing the love of Jesus with everybody that I possibly can. And then I go home to be with, you know, Jesus and everything. And it's just a crazy, awesome um, mindset, very challenging to me to really look at my life continuously and say, where can I grow in being more sold out in this way and, and structure my life in a way that um, it's 100% about sharing Jesus' love with everyone that I can. Um, so yeah, super awesome, really good word today. Um, love my time with, with Jesus in the morning. Uh, so today is Thursday. Um, Thursday is actually, um, one of my favorite days of the week. I feel like it's, it's usually my, like, calmest day. 
Um, so I really, Wednesdays, you know, I really love Wednesdays because I get to do Resonate and everything. I get to go there, work with the youth and all of that. Um, and that's like, you know, highlight of my week. But Thursdays are really cool because um, after Wednesday, pretty much all of my main responsibilities for the week um, in my personal life are done. And then work is almost over because tomorrow's Friday. And so it's this like kind of sweet spot um, where it's just like a really calm and chill day. Um, so I really like this. Uh, and then, so my podcast for today is um, also one of my favorites and it's a Craig Rochelle leadership podcast. Um, so I really love pouring into myself, you know, leadership and, and all of that um, for, for two reasons. One, because, you know, if, if I ever um, intend to lead in any facet, you know, then I should be learning now. And two, um, you know, learning how to follow better. Because one, you know, I serve in, in different areas, and so I always want to be growing and becoming better and better at following, you know, my leaders and, and you know, supporting them and helping them in what they do. But then also, um, you can never truly learn to be a leader and you can never really be a great leader if you don't first learn how to follow. Um, because the greatest leaders are those who lead by serving the people who are following them. Uh, and so super excited about that. Um, love Thursdays, hype for today. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go get rolling on that. That'll be it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. Like I said earlier, if you have any suggestions for what I should do with my smoothies, um, leave those in the comments as well. Um, always remember that you are important, that you are valuable, that you matter, that Jesus loves you, and so do I, and I'll see you next time. Toodaloo! Bye!